Throughout its history, the United States of America has been run by men. It was, after all, the founding fathers and not the founding mothers who started a revolution and forged a new nation. The Declaration of Independence even spelled it out. 240 years and 44 presidents later, there's still not been a woman in the White House. The US once led the march towards sexual equality. But progress stopped at the door of the Oval Office and the rest of the world caught up. Sri Lanka, India, Israel all elected women leaders in the 1960s. Shirley Chisholm put a crack in America's glass ceiling when she ran for, but failed to get, the Democratic Party nomination. Seven years later, in 1979, Margaret Thatcher became British Prime Minister, heralding a new era of global women leaders. Norway followed suit, electing a woman Prime Minister three times. In the US, the first woman made it onto the Supreme Court, and Democrats picked their first female nominee for Vice President. But by now, even Muslim-majority countries like Pakistan and Bangladesh were electing female leaders. By the 21st century, women were in power in all corners of the world, except America. In the years since Hillary Clinton's 2008 presidential bid failed, Trinidad and Tobago, Mali and Thailand are among those who picked women leaders. So while the US prides itself on its democratic traditions, when it comes to electing a woman to the top job, it's been overtaken. 56 women have been elected to the highest office in 44 different countries. Will Hillary make it 45?